What's up guys? So today we're gonna take these and turn them into these. And then hang out to the end because I'm giving these away to one of you guys. Hey everybody, so something I've been wanting to do for a while is build a set of the Wolverine Claws. Now, I uh, I know there's tons of people who have done it already. I've, I've seen the videos on YouTube, I've seen them in plastic, I've seen them in cardboard for costumes, I've seen them in metal just like these, people hand cutting them, making templates and whatnot. So the one thing I didn't see on there, and I'm not saying it's not on there, was a set that wore CNC plasma cut. So that's what this video is going to be about. And I'm not titling it as a DIY video or anything like that because I don't really expect many people have a CNC plasma table sitting in their garage. But some of the process of how I did this is very usable if you wanted to make these on your own out of cardboard, out of metal and hand cut them and use a templating system, which is what a lot of people do. So take a look at the video. I tried to give you a basic step-by-step -step process of how I did this and making them. These are a bit of a prototype set. I have actually, since I made these, found improvements on another set that I would like to make to make them even better. So, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, hang on to the end because I am going to give these away to one of you guys. It's going to be pretty simple instructions and maybe they'll be yours. So my first step was to print out a template which are easily found online with a Google search. This one actually I think is from the Hacksmith. So I take this image, I scan it in, and it takes that line art and turns it into a cuttable image in my sign program. Okay, so after I have that printout like I showed you just a second ago, I put that on my scanner bed, I scan it into uh, my sign program, which is something I used to do, and I still have all my equipment and gear. So basically what it does is it turns that line art into uh, what's called a vector image. So it can be cut on a plotter like you saw a minute ago, or this file, all I have to do is change the extension and the CNC plasma table will run it. So now when these first come in, they uh, are not always a clean scan. So if you look over here, all of these little nodes that are in there have to be smoothed out and cleaned up and all the arcs changed and things like that. So that's already been done to this process. So this is the cuttable image that I cut into the vinyl decal and then placed onto the cardboard templates like you saw before. Uh, after that, this file was saved and then put directly onto the CNC plasma table once I tweaked it. Like this was a first edition and then that's a second one, which obviously you saw there are way more than that. I deleted the the other ones that weren't good fits and ended up with these. And then actually this one down here is the final final product, the nicer curves and, and everything like that. So the next step is to take it out to the plasma table. So I just made it out into the garage, which is a mess. As you can see, there's the bat pod. It's still waiting and I'm sure you're wondering why are you starting a new project and you're not working on that well, that's one of my problems I have issues I think I have ADD maybe I don't know anyway so what we're gonna do today is fire up the plasma table and see about cutting some of these Wolverine claws which is a project that I've wanted to do for a while probably like I mentioned before so we get everything plugged in hooked up and mess with it
Wolverine car. All right, so we finished them up. There's one. If you get a good cut, they fall right out. And I think this one is good. It's just sitting right on the uh, the bar. So, yep, lifts right out. So there we go, all three of them fresh off the table. So here they are laid out, um, like this one you can see on, on one edge is super, super smooth, there's nothing you need to do with it. On the back side of these there's that little bit of dross on there and that all has to do with your cut speeds which I actually adjusted a little bit later down the road and you can see this one compared to it, there's very, very little. So, I'm gonna go ahead and dress these up with the, uh, the whizzy wheel and get them ready for the next step. So the next step here was drilling out the end pieces here so the dial could go through them like I've got here. The plasma cutter will cut a, uh, a pretty good circle, but if you really want something fine-tuned for a smaller piece, it's better just to drill it out that last little bit before you put it in there. So what I'm running into, and I mean, and they're not welded into place or anything yet, but when I was trying them on it it just didn't seem like it was the greatest fit so my next step is a larger dowel here that i think i'm gonna have go completely on the outside of it like that for a thicker grip area some of it could also be this arc right here that i noticed might be a little too thick but i'm trying to make them where they would fit numerous size hands so i'm gonna keep toying with that and hopefully i have a little mocked up at least tack welded in place today all right so i found a piece that's a pretty good fit right to the end of that and we're going to try welding that in real quick and then i'm going to do another version that has the dowel that goes through the middle and we'll see which one works best three of them clamped together. I think I'm just gonna have to bend them and spread them to have more of the look when I'm done because it's thinner metal. So let's see. to start but we'll get it all cleaned up and it should look good so they didn't come out too bad I had the um, the temperature up a little too high on the welder the first one I kind of blew through part of the uh, little dowels there they're thinner metal than the, the actual claws but I got them polished down as much as I could get that's the other thing I kind of found out it's it's hard to work in there with how tight it is but they're uh, Pretty decent fit. I had to bend them just a little bit, kind of tweak them in there. I think it would work for different people's size hands or whatnot. Again, this is just kind of a a play thing anyway, but there we go.
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. So that's my take on making a set of Wolverine claws. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to give these away to somebody. So here's the pretty simple instructions. You got to be a subscriber and leave me a comment. Alright? After that, I'm going to give this a month. So today is November 1st. So I'm going to give it the full month of November, okay? So come December 1st, I will post another video. I will randomly select a winner for these and um, I will mail them on out to you. So you have some Wolverine claws by Christmas to say the least, all right? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of it, consider subscribing. I'm doing my best to get more content out. I do do this for fun on the side so I don't have the ability like some of the people to do this as a full-time job. So as I can and other projects I want to get out there, yeah, I'm sure you've seen in some of the other videos, I'm building a full-scale bat pod replica. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see me build or try to build, throw it in the comments below. I'll see what I can come up with. I do this for fun and for you guys. So if you want to see something, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Thanks again for watching. I hope everybody's having a great day. We'll talk to you soon.